Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me again for Yoga Storytime. My name is Rachel, I'm one of the children's librarians with the San Mateo County Library, and I'm so excited to be with you here in this space every week to play yoga. So the stories that we use in Yoga Storytime, they help inspire the yoga poses and movements that we take with our body. It's always very fun, very much things that you'll see in nature, different kinds of animals, things like that. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and grab your yoga mat. I've got mine here behind me. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's okay. You're welcome to use a towel. You could use a blanket, anything that is comfy for you to sit on to help define your space for our yoga play today. Okay, are we ready to get started? Okay. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see all of me. I'm going to bring my hands up to my heart center. Can you find your hands there as well? Good job, good job. Let's rub our hands together, get some heat flowing, and we'll sing. Are you ready? Yes. Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh. Good job, everybody. Good job. Do you think, and this is a little bit tricky, do you think that we could try this song but rubbing our feet together? Can we pretend that our feet are like hands and we can rub them together too? I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me a little bit better. I'm going to use my hands behind me to give me a little support so I can lean back, find some balance on my feet, and let's play with rubbing our feet together. Does that tickle? Sometimes. Sometimes. Rub your feet, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, and bring them right back together. Good job, friends. What about, do you think we could rub our hands and our feet at the same time? You think so? Let's give it a shot. You lean back a little bit, but not so far that you fall backwards. Should we try it? Whoa. Roll right back up. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Let's try rubbing both together at the same time. Rub your hands and feet. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Oh, good job, friends, good job. Okay, let's keep warming up our bodies. Can you stretch out your legs really wide? Yeah, there you go. We're gonna go side to side with our TikTok Little Yoga Clock song. Can you stretch out your arms just as wide? Really reach those fingers out. Good job, good job. Okay, we're gonna go side to side. Here we go. Tick, tock. Little yoga clock, tick tock, little yoga clock, tick tock, little yoga clock, and freeze. Can you reach down all the way down and wind up your toes? Give them a little tickle, go tickle, 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 tickle. Can you come up and wind up your knee? Let's try. Can you wind up your belly button? Can you wind up your nose? You can pick any body parts when you play this song at home to wind up. Shall we go again? Okay, reach out those arms really wide. We're gonna go a little bit faster this time. Can you go faster? Okay, here we go. Tick tock, little yoga clock. Tick tock, little yoga clock. Tick tock, little yoga clock. Tick tock. Little yoga clock and freeze. Can we wind up our ears? Can you wind up your shoulder? One more time. Should we go the other way? Go forward. Good job, friends. Good job. Can you wind up your mouth? And can you wind up your hair? Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Good 
Good job. Our clock saver winding, but we're going to slow it way down. Go ahead and stretch out your arms very slowly. We'll go side to side so slow. Tick a little yoga clock. Tick tock. Little yoga clock. Tick tock. Little yoga clock. Tick tock. Little yoga clock. Okay, I think we're ready for our story. Are you ready for our story? Okay, let's bring our knees together in front of us. You can use your hands to help you. Can you put your feet on the floor in front of you? We're going to find our book pose. Can you imagine that your legs are the covers of your book? You think about what kind of story your book would be, right? Go ahead and use your hands to help guide the knees open and bring your feet together. Imagine there's a whole story here for you to read. While I go set up our book, you can give yourself a little foot massage. They work your hands up your legs, massage them out too. And then scoot back up to my computer so that you can see the story together. Okay. Share my screen. Our story today is called Wild About Dad. Did you know that Father's Day is coming this Sunday, June 21st? <gasps> so we're going to celebrate dads today. And this book is all about these different animal dads and human dads and how they care for their young and take care of them, just like yours takes care of you. This is Wild About Dad. This book was written by Diana Murray. It was illustrated. The pictures are by Amber Alvarez. This is published by Imprint, and we're looking at it on a platform called Overdrive. So if you're having any trouble accessing any of our e-resources, including Overdrive, or if you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to us at the library. We're still here for you. Give us a call. We have a new phone number, 1-833-YES-SMCL. Dads. They go by many names, and no two dads are quite the same. But though we see them every day, what are dads like anyway? Oh, it's just a lot of fun. They're playing at the playground. The rocket ship slide. Dads can help you reach up high. The little monkey called a marmoset. and help to keep you warm and dry. Who knows what this one is called? That's right, this is a penguin. This is an emperor penguin. Keeps him warm and dry, resting his chick on his feet. Dad's like fishing in the creek. Who knows what kind of bird that is? You're right, that's an eagle. And playing games like hide and seek. This prairie dog dad is tucking his head under the ground saying, peek Dads are strong. Dads are brave. Can you see that guy? That's right. There's a hippo and a baby hippo and the alligator is looking at them. But that daddy hippo is so strong and brave. But sometimes dads could use a shave. This is called a beaded emperor tamarind. Look at his whiskers. They're known for their funny facial hair. My dad is known for his funny facial hair too. <laughs> Dad's fetch dinner in a snap. It's a red fox. See his family there in their den. Who's this? You know, yep. A lion, there's a lion family. And dads like to take a cozy nap. Do you think he's sleeping very well with all those little cubs hanging on him? This one's got his tail. Dads are quick to share a snack. Oh, what kind of bird is that? That's right, that's a pelican. You see that big bill that they can keep some food in for their little ones? Or carry you on piggyback. 
this is a very particular kind of frog. This is a Peruvian poison dart frog. And he's helping to separate out all his little tadpoles so they can grow big and strong. And dads would rarely miss the chance to strut their stuff and dance, dance, dance. Do you dance with your dad? That's so silly and that's fun. These are called sandhill cranes and they do very fancy, elaborate dancing with their partners. Dads are skilled at catching bugs. What kind of dads are these? And wrapping you in great big hugs. Yeah, this is a gorilla, Papa. Look at them eating those ants, sliding right into his mouth. Nom, nom, nom. And when you're tired from all your play, dads can help you find your way through the bushes, down the path, off to bed. But first, a bath. These are called African wild dogs. Look like how, how are they giving their puppies a, a bath? <laughs> You're right. Is that how you want your dad to give you a bath? No. Dads can help you touch the sky, spread your wings, and up you fly. Look how high her dad can throw her. Wow. This bird on the left is called a sun grebe. Do you see there's a little pocket in his chest there under his wings? where his chick, his baby bird, can help fly with him. So that pocket holds him there, and he can fly in the sky with him there safely. He can even go into the water with him there safely. It's pretty amazing. Look how high you can fly with your daddy, too. There's a lot that dads can do. The best of all is loving you. The blink bubble. Good job, good listening friends. There's so many fun facts about these animals that I learned from this book that I didn't know before I found it. So if you wanna check out this book, you can too. It's available through Overdrive and it's called Wild About Dads. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. We're gonna scoot back. So I thought it would be fun to become some of the animal shapes that we saw in this book today. Animals that we haven't played with yet in our yoga story time. I'm gonna scoot back to my mat and we're gonna play together, okay? okay. I'm going to scoot, 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 scoot. And I'm actually going to come up to my feet because we're going to play with a monkey pose. That first animal we saw was a marmoset, and it's a little monkey. But we're actually going to be crouched down low. You got it. We're going to be really nice and still. We're going to count to three. Ready? One, two, three. And when we get to three, we're going to jump up and put our arms out and go, ooh, ah, ah. You ready? Okay. One. Two, three. Ooh, ah! Can you come right back down? Can we do it again? One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> One more time. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, ah! Good job, friends. Good job. Another way to play with monkey pose is to stand up tall. This one's really fun if you have someone to play with you at home. Okay, this can be a partner pose. So what I would do is stand up tall, and I would have my mom or my dad, my grown-up, my brother, my sister, whoever is with me, come and put their back to my back. So give yourself a little bit of room, okay? But back to back. Go ahead and jump your feet out. Fold over your leg. And so they're gonna be fold over too. And when you look through your legs, you should be able to see them, right? <laughs> yeah. You can grab hands and sway side to side. You can play patty cake. This is another silly upside down monkey pose. Good job, friends. Good job. Okay. Let's try another pose that we saw. Hmm. Do you remember the eagle pose? We haven't played with that yet. So we saw the eagle father. He flies and he swoops down and he catches fish and brings it back to the nest for his baby chick. Can we try being an eagle? So bend our knees. This is a balancing pose. We bend our knees, pick up one foot, cross it over the other leg. You can keep your toes on the floor to help you balance. It's also helpful if you look straight ahead at something that's not moving that can help you focus the balance as well. You're going to cross another arm and you're going to swivel them up like pretzels. 
You can put the back of your hands together or you can try to cross a little further and put your palms together. Good job. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see me. If you want to play with your balance a little more, you can wrap this leg around and hold it. Good job, friends. Good job. You got it. This is our eagle pose. It's tricky. It's a balancing pose. It's very tricky. You can always put your foot down. If you're having a hard time wrapping your hands, you can give yourself a hug. Good job, friends. Now we need to do it on the other side. So in between, let's get a little fly. Whoops. Too forward. <laughs> there we go. Give a little fly. And then let's land or in another way. And we're going to do the other leg. Go ahead and lift that foot up. Put it over the top. You can try to wrap it around. Which of whichever arm was on the bottom, put it on top. Then turn this way. Bend your knees helps too. Find something to focus your gaze on. Whoa, little wobbly. Good job, friends. Good job. We'll fly out. Good job. Okay, let's see. Who else do we see in our book? The hippos. You're right. The hippo dads are fierce protectors of their family. That hungry alligator is no match for his huge chompers, right? Yeah, let's find our hippo pose. So you're gonna start on your hands and knees. Good job. Go ahead and lift one leg out. And can you lift the opposite arm out? You got it, and then let's hold it. This is another balancing pose, whoa. There you go. Can you try the other side? Let's lift the other leg, lift the other arm, out into the side and hold. Good job. Now we can really challenge ourselves. You think we can walk like that? So opposite arms and legs. Take a step. Take a step. <laughs> Take a step. Can we go backwards? I don't know. That's a little trickier. Good job. That's our hippo pose. Good job. Hmm. Who else did you see? Do you remember the red fox? The red fox dad, he goes hunting every day to find food for his family to take back to their den. They eat all different kinds of things, like bugs and berries and little mice. And when the pups are old enough, he'll take them out to teach them how to find food on their own too. Let's try a red fox pose. So we're already sitting on our knees. Can we take our knees a little bit wide? You can try tucking your toes too if you want to stretch out your feet a little bit. We've got our hands down on the floor in front of us. We can now switch our flat palms. Good job. Now let's try something new. Can we try turning a hand around so that your fingers face you and your thumb is going to be out to the side? If you want, if that's a lot, sweep your hand a little bit forward and come down a little bit closer to the ground. Give yourself some more space. And it feels comfortable to keep it like this with one hand. You could try the other one too. This is a big stretch for our wrist. Yeah. So a red fox, it doesn't really howl like a coyote or a wolf does, but we can stretch our chins up like we're looking up at the moon. So you get a stretch in the front of your neck, you get a stretch in the front of your arms and your wrists. They can kind of bark. Woof, 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 woof. Good job, friends. Good job. When you're ready, go ahead and gently turn your hands back around. Maybe give them a little shake. Good job. Can we think of one more animal that we saw in that book? Prairie dogs. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a prairie dog in person. I have seen ground squirrels. We have ground squirrels where I live. And they burrow down into the ground just like our prairie dogs do. A prairie dog is a kind of rodent. So we can play with that much like we do with our mouse pose. Let's make this our prairie dog pose today. So go ahead and find a seat on your knees like this. You can fold forward and we're gonna burrow into our home under the ground to rest. Those holes are called burrows actually. And the dad prairie dogs, they help maintain their burrow homes and they help protect them. And this pose is one of my favorite ways to rest my body and to rest my mind. To bring your forehead to rest against the floor can be very calming, very relaxing. We can take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
Nanti perhatiin. Ya, nanti breath out. Good job, friends. Good job. You're welcome to always come into your prairie dog and your mouse pose to rest your mind, to rest your body, to take care of yourself. I'm going to turn this way so we can say goodbye. So today we're going to find a comfortable seat on our yoga mat. Good job, friends. Let's bring our hands back to our heart center. We're going to sing our own song one more time. Just our hands this time. Are you ready? Do you remember it from when we sang it the first time? Okay, here we go. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Oh. Good job. Let's bring our hands right back to our heart center. We're going to sing our goodbye song. This is the Namaste song. Namaste means the light in me, the goodness, the kindness in me is the same in all of you, and I see that. Let's bring those hands back. We'll sing our song. If you don't know this song, that's okay. You'll learn it really fast. Here we go. My little light fell to your little light, your little light, your little light. My little light fell to your little light. Namaste. We'll sing it right back, okay? Your little light bows to my little light. My little light, my little light. Your little light bows to my little light. Namaste. Good job, friends. Good job. Thank you again so much for joining me for Yoga Story Time today. Again, my name is Rachel. I'm here with you in this space every week and thrilled to be so. If you haven't already, don't forget to sign up for the Summer Learning Challenge. You can find more details at summerlearners.org, summerlearners.org, and you can earn a chance to win a $1,000 college scholarship, which is very exciting. And if you haven't seen it already, my friends are hosting a summer STEAM, a virtual STEAM camp here on our website. They have programs at 11 a.m. for our early learners and at 1 p.m. for our elementary age learners. This is Monday through Thursday and Saturdays as well. If you have any questions, let us know. 1-833-YES-SMCL. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.